All right, so it's April 8th. It's uh, 2.50 p.m. and I am going to the assessor of property um, to get a GSI survey. I just left the uh, bid opening for the um, New Hamlin County Taj Mahal Jail Justice Center. Low bid came in at $83 million. So that's $83 million and we're going to go to floor number three. $83 million is a lot of money for some place that will probably be outgrown um, and can't do any kind of expanding on in 40 years. That's a big issue. So we got the register of deeds, accessor of property, public restrooms. So let's go to the assessor of property. I'm doing good. Hey, is this where I come to get a GIS survey um, to see what property you lines are? The tax map. All right. Well, will it tell me? Will it tell me the footage? I need footage, like off of uh, the public street. Yeah, um, um, let me. What's the address? And I can show you what I can give you. It's going to be part of the farmers market on the corner of Morris Boulevard yeah. and Cumberland, where that little sign is right there that says "Welcome to Downtown yeah. Morristown." Yeah. That's what I, I want. Like the piece, the property that include will include that um, in the little public area strip that will would run along Morris Boulevard and along Cumberland. One would end at um, whatever property would be um, for um, the Pet Smart, no, and then the other one would be the entrance right let there. Me give you a copy of the map I have. Okay. okay. Will that work? Yeah. So that's the section of property where the interested in is right there where the signage is and the reason for that is Rob Berkey had posted his political signs that he is running for council member of the city of Morristown and you got to check him out. He's uh, he's a good one to have. He's definitely for the people. And um, there is a photograph of a gentleman. I'm not going to give you the name now. Um, and uh, taking those political signs. And there's proof that he took them through the picture. And also that he replied back via a text message to Rob Berkey um, in regards to the throwing that sign away. So we are going to find out what the property line is over there and see whether or not that sign was on public property or private property. And I've already looked it up online, but that may not be accurate. So that's why we're here at the assessor of property and to gather that information because if nobody else knows then no one's gonna know <clears throat> hopefully it'll have some kind of feet from the curb that way we could accurately measure
This lady's got a beautiful view. Look out that window. Awesome view. And then it's funny the mayor is stuck in the basement. Oh well, that's where he should be. Waning, the assessor of property, office hours 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. <clears throat> okay, here's the tax map for that area right there is the farmer's market, okay? Okay. And here's his pet sands. Yeah. So talking about the building sits right back in here, and there's that little fountain. It used to be the fountain sign. Right? right. Right there. So that that's on both sides. That's such a small lot. I printed the card off for you for this pet sense. Okay. The reason I did that when they bought that, there was a survey done. Okay, J three eighteen. That survey will give you all the dimensions. On this lot. Okay. So that way it's very easy to figure out what this dimensions is right here, which is very, very small. It's just like 20 feet by 72 around through there. But Right. Um, <coughs> so what you can do is go down to the next window down here and tell them you need a copy of this survey. Right here. Okay. And that'll give you all the information you need for this piece right here. Awesome, man. See what I'm saying? I got you. And that way, I mean, it's just easy to figure out what this is. Yeah, because, uh, and this is what we're talking about right here, guys. So, because I know that from, like, here to, it, it kind of runs, like, kind of at an angle, almost to just the side of the building that's behind Pet Sense. Yeah, you see the line comes here because it widens out when it gets right here. Yeah. It widens, winds back out and then goes up to the uh, Morse Boulevard right there. Yes. And it narrows back down from this point down here. It narrows back down to the river. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And there's an offset also back here on the back line next to that river track. Perfect. So, this, this, this survey will give you what you need for everything in there. Awesome. Okay. Hey, I appreciate it. And what was your name? Keith Ailey. Hey, thank you very much for your professionalism. You have a good one. All right. That's the second time I've talked to that man, and he was helpful with uh, the first time I talked to him. Awesome guy. Um, I give him a thumbs up on that. I did it because it says ring bell for help. I didn't do it just to do it. Don't jump all over me. Thank you for keeping this place clean. Well, thank you. It looks great.
So the Hamlin County mask mandate has been lifted. So it is by choice. You can see some still wear them. Others do not. That's how it should have always been. Jim Clawson, the one that I just showed you, his desk there. He's the Hamlin County Register of Deeds Register. You can be reached at 423-586-6551. I'll come visit him. Um, when I came in to the assessor of property, the last time I had to come here to get a map too, and they Hook that up, no problems. Very professional. Got me the information I needed. Got some paper right here about the veteran outreach. Senior Citizens Home Assistance Service, Veterans Outreach, April 23rd, 2021 at the Tennessee Armor, Army National Guard. Located at 5255 East Andrew Johnson Highway, Russell, Tennessee, between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. There will be information about programs for veterans and their spouses. For more information, call 423-586-2359 or 423-231-7533. You can have food, fun, fellowship, door prizes. This event is for everyone, not just veterans and spouses. To help keep everyone safe, we are asking everyone to please wear a mask. So, Hey, go check that out, April 23rd. Is there anybody to help me or? Here comes Jim. I'm doing good, how you doing? Good, I needed to get a map of uh, this property here. Uh, doing wonderful out there. It stopped raining for a little bit, I guess. Yeah. At least it didn't come down hard. It was just a little drizzle. Yeah. 
It, well, it's the, um, that's actually um, the Pet Smart. Yeah, um, so I can see the the, um, the the footage. That's what I'm interested in to see what the footage is from the sh sidewalk or the street curb. downstairs to start the probate process with from the will yeah, that's still how do I find out when the property that was willed to me gets put in my name I'm sorry okay So you just need a certified copy of what I got from the clerk's office over there and then the wheel. Great. I'll bring it right back up. Thank you so much. Sandy is out sick today and I need a witness and a notary to help with this. Um, it's going to be the corner of South Cumberland and Morris Boulevard. Right there where that City of Morristown signage is. Yeah, South Cumberland and Morris Boulevard. Wait, wait till the other witness comes over. All the way down through that. What's that? All the way down through that. No, just right there at the corner. There's a. It says "Welcome to Downtown Morristown." There's a sign that's there. Um, and then there's two strips that include after that that are public property. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yep. This one? <clears throat> yeah, yep. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're getting hard on it. 
See, look at this guy. He's helping me out. Customer service. Okay, and this is the center, line center of the road? That's where the separate directions are. So that's the center line of the road. So it's 40 feet from the center line of the road. Does your computer tell you, this is the curb, I would assume, of the street right here. Yeah. Does it say like what the distance is from here to here? Like from the curb? That would be actually like the public strip where a sidewalk would be? Right, right so 40. 40. So I guess this comes pretty straight from there at that yeah. point, it looks. Property to the center of the road. Right here. I don't know what the pavement is. That's South Cumberland. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. No, he's not really. I typed the other day, Sam. Uh, Sam's got a right away. Well, like right there, it breaks into turn. You know, you got two a turn lane, two straight lanes there. Appreciate what you're doing. I, I got to be accurate in what I'm trying to achieve here. So it's 60 feet, not 40 feet, like it's what's... You may have 40 feet of pavement. You may have 20 feet. Right away on it. 10 foot on the side. Okay. 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 <laughs> all right, all right. So there's at least 20 feet worth of grass that belongs. 20 could be 10. Depends on how wide the is. Okay, all right. So it'd be six, 60 feet from the center line. So if there's 40 feet of pavement, there's 20 feet. You got go to the center, 30 foot each way. That's how the best way to do it. From the center of South Cumberland, 30 foot each way. Oh. 
Okay. Road may be 40, maybe 50 foot of pavement. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, measure that up. Hey, Jim, I appreciate your professionalism. Thank you very much. Have a good one. All right. So this is what we were looking at right over here and the amount of footage coming from the center line of the road in either direction. So now we can go and see whether or not the political sign was on public property or private property. Um, we'll go ahead and I'll... Um, edit these two videos back together and bring you one when I get some information. Thanks for watching. Today is April 8th, 2021. It is 5 p.m. I am standing out in front of the Pet Sense, which is located on the corner of Cumberland Avenue and Morris Boulevard. And I'm here today because it's been brought to my attention of a possible theft of political signs. Here you see two, and there's supposed to be three. Rob Berkey is running for city council for the first ward against Bob Garrett, and he had his political sign out here. I saw it when I passed by the other day, and he also had one on the other side of the property over here. Well, the picture shows an individual which has been identified and has um, has said that he has did throw it away but I have this GIS survey right here and this is the corner of interest right here and you can see that there's 60 foot right of way from the center line of the road that's the center of the road they got 60 feet so I know that they're well in six, within 60 feet. So on this side, you can see as well that there's a good distance in. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about this sidewalk right here. Okay, so this sidewalk is only a portion of what the city actually owns. It actually comes way back over according to this GIS survey to about right here where I'm standing. So if you see both of these signs that are still here are on public property. This is not private property. This is public property owned by the city of Morristown. You can see it right there. You see how the line is and how it comes across? Okay, so to about this point here, and his sign was way over here. It, it was about almost split the difference of where that between those two signs. So let's walk to the other side, and we're gonna see if we can't measure off. Now we're just gonna do it quickly with steps. Um, my average step is about three feet, so we're going to see within general, and if it comes up to inches, then I'll come back this evening when there's less traffic. So this is the area that we're talking about, okay, that you can see on the map. And his other sign was over here, okay, so... This right here, you can see the city pole, right? So the city does not put utilities on public property. Or I'm sorry, on private property. So I would assume that it's gonna be pretty much about up to this line, it's right here, of where the road frontage is. So I guess one way of me being able to do that would be to walk this crosswalk which is green and then I'm gonna measure it out when I get to the center point so let's do that and we're gonna have 60 feet from which will be this point right here this the midpoint of the intersection I'll show you that here okay so I've walked all the way across 
I have 17 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and walk back across. Let this guy go if he's going to go. Okay, so 60 feet is what we have. 60 feet from the center line. So we got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Okay, so right here we are at 32 feet to this section right here. So really we've got, according to this, almost another 30 feet to go. So let's see where that would take us. About right here. About right here. So this is about where the property line would be. And if you look at it, okay, so we're looking at it like this. And if you see how it goes straight and then it ducks out to the right. So the closer to the far sign out here, the closer to the road the actual property line is. Well, Pretty much where we just measured it has a right of way of 60 feet in accordance to this. So, anything from that center line, and we're going to go ahead and we'll be walking out on this other side over here so we can actually see. So we're gonna see how much, how far out they own from here. We got some traffic coming. So let's give uh, the traffic a chance to come by and then we are gonna see from the center line over here, which is gonna be the double line. Right there, it'll be the double line. And we will see how far that's gonna be. Couple more vehicles coming. <clears throat> Forty feet. So let's see. Step out here real quick. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Thirty-four. So we're at thirty-four feet straight to the curb. So at thirty-four feet, um, could have at least at least a minimal of another six. He said sixty feet. So this is thirty-four. So forty feet is going to be to the edge of the sidewalk, and then there's going to be according. To this another 20 feet so eighteen, twenty feet so this is where 20 feet brings me right here so yep just like I said look lines up straight with that over there so anything to the left of the left of the pillar is public property and that's where this sign and his signs were located so this person um, that owns this property and I'll tell you his name uh, once I get everything squared away took this Rob Berkey sign so that these signs can stay and 
that's all on a text message. And he said it was so that he, his lawn guys didn't have to weed eat or mow around them. But this lady here and Bob Garrett. And Bob Garrett. See, this is electric, right? This is put in by the utilities. This is a right of way. This is not part of the property. Okay? So, Bob Garrett is also buddies with this person that took this political sign. So they left these two, but took Rob Berkey's. What does that say? Now, I'm not saying that either of these two here have anything to do with it, but I'm not saying that they don't, but somebody's going around taking signs, and I can tell you that Definitely this guy here does not deserve to be sitting on that city council. Okay, center. Uh, I, I don't have nothing to uh, no dislike against her. Um, but this Bob Garrett, he's bad news. He needs to go. Rob Berkey, for the people, all day long. So, we need somebody that's going to get in there, going to listen to what the citizens bring to these meetings and if uh, it's warranted to look into a matter and it, it justifies making a change then that change needs to be made so thank you for joining another Lakeway Audits video and uh, See, I actually think like this sign right here is actually looking at the track map right here runs straight along with this road so the, the leg that's holding up this sign to the far right should be just about on the property line runs right to here and here's your corner right here so I'm going to end this. Thanks for watching. Vote for Rob Berkey. He's the man for the job. He wants to know what you're thinking, what your concerns are, what your issues are, and we have a lot of them. There's a lot, a lot of problems, and there's a lot of people that have good ideas and recommendations, but there's nobody to listen to it and pass those. Rob Berkey, vote for him for city commission or city council. I'm going to go ahead and speak with him and get the information that I need from him and um, get the photos that I got to get and uh, some other information. I'll put that all in this video and get it on out to you. Thanks for watching.